The L Queen Caddis, really small and easy to tie Caddis pattern. Uh, Caddis is one of the most prominent fly in almost any fisheries, so you really need to have this pattern in your fly box anyway. It all starts down with olive thread. Once again, I love to cover the whole hook shank. First step is to attach the golden wire that you have, which will add a lot of solidity to your pattern. It will last in time. Second step is the hackle. So what I love to do is to pull a couple of fiber down the hackle so I will have an attach point without any fiber on the way. And the last step is the dubbing. So you have some olive dubbing. You take some really, really small pinch of it. That's too much, so half of it and you will be rolling the dubbing between your finger and your thread and this will make the perfect uh, body material and you will add teeny teeny amount of dubbing to your thread until you reach the end of your fly always thinny amount this goes a long way and it's easy to tie in it's more durable all the way to the end of your fly what I love to do here is to do a thread base going backward just a bit where my head would be uh, because what we will add as a wing is bigger and this will helps uh, to keep some room for your wing now it is time to turn your hackle. So you will do one, two, three, four, five turns of hackle clockwise, turning around your hook. You can trim off the excess once it is secure. And with your golden wire, you will turn counterclockwise around your hook, which will really trap your hackle and which will make the fly almost on, you know, it, it will last for a really long time this way. You can tie this in at the head real good. Once again, you don't cut wire with your scissors unless you have scissors that can handle it and there is very few that can. Now it's time for some natural elk air and you will take a small pinch. Keep in mind that in your kit you have enough to tie six minimum flies. You don't have to use all the material for six flies. There's good chances that it will be way too much. We put a lot of material in there so you can make error and uh, still have some material to practice. I do use an air stacker. So I put my uh, small pinch into an air stacker that I stacked real good. Once it is stacked, You can take it by the point. And this is a really buoyant material. This is why we tie this dry fly with this material. And you want the wing to be as long as the body. So you put it on top of your hook, hold it with your left hand, and you want this wing to be on top of your hook. So you will be doing one turn just around the elk. So you are not around your hook, just around the hook. And then the second turn is around the hook. And you can pull on it real tight. 
three or four turns and this wing is on top of the hook uh, what I love to do there is two school uh, of thinking now you can trim it do your head or do your head and then trim it I do my head first so I will pull everything back make a couple of turns of thread just around the hook and keeping pulling on that I will come and do my whip finish three or four turns is enough trim it down you can put a drop of head cement now this will bleed in real good which make for once again a dribble fly and you can trim away the Hulk Air so here it is the Hulk Air uh, Caddis a really good fly really effective and uh, it should work anywhere, anywhere around Canada, around the US and uh, even around Mexico so you can travel with this fly and catch fish anywhere around the world.